Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. So we will continue now with our Angular Essentials series. Uh, in the last video you saw what is Angular, its versions and also a bit how it's working and uh, its popularity obviously. Through this video I wanted to show you how can you install Angular and create your own first project with Angular. So here on my screen you can see official website of Angular which is angular.io. Here you can find anything that you need, uh, well everything that you need for Angular itself. So for example you can see uh, what it is basically, you could go to its features which you can see right here, you could go through whole documentation, documentation of Angular is vast and I would suggest you also to go through it a bit. Also you have whole tutorials on Angular. For example, through this tutorial, there is a tutorial called Tour of Heroes, where you are creating whole, uh, well, whole project, whole application uh, with the Angular, which is the kind of heroes application. But to install Angular, we won't go through the official website. We will install Angular on cli.angular.io. We need first to install Angular CLI, which is kind of command line for Angular. It offers us uh, some scripts and also commands that we could run on our machine. Here in the header of this Angular CLI, you can see simple four lines of command that you could run and basically, well, just to create your own first project with Angular. First command, npm install g angular cli, stands for installing this cli globally on your PC, on your Mac, on your machine, basically. Then, once this is finished, you will go through the, uh, through the second one, which is ng new, well, you could call it as you wish, they call it my dream app, and this here will uh, install your first application, which we will do in this video. Then you would route yourself to that, uh, to that application with cd my dream app, and at the end you would uh, run that app with ng serve. This ng won't uh, be accessible to you until you install Angular CLI. Let's install Angular, Angular itself and its CLI, and you will see how this will work. Okay, so here I am in my wanted folder uh, on my machine. To install Angular itself I will run npm install then g flag for globally, I am installing it globally on my machine at angular slash cli. So obviously you need to have uh, well you need to have node installed on your machine and also npm package with node so you are able to run this command. So once I click this, it will install the latest version of, of Angular to my machine. Let's just wait a bit and see. As you can see, it uh, successfully added Angular CLI 11.2.3, which is the latest version, and now we are able to use this. For example, if I just type ng now here, uh, it will show me all the available commands that Angular supports. For example, there is add, analytics, build, deploy, etc, etc. These are all commands that we could use uh, with ng. Uh, so, for example, the ng script itself, the command ng, uh, was not accessible to you until you installed uh, npm uh, with uh, npm Angular CLI. So, now that you install this, we are able to run ng new, this new is creating whole new project uh, of Angular for us. And here I will just type first Angular project, which, uh, with, which will be the name of my first Angular project, obviously. This here will ask me some questions. First questions is regarding the uh, strict uh, typing with TypeScript. I will go no to that. You can go yes, either way. Then it will ask me about Angular routing. I will also go no to this. And then it will also ask me about CSS, SCSS, SAS, LAS styles. Uh, which style sheet format would I like to use? I will simply go with CSS. 
regarding angular routing we won't talk about those all the way uh, well uh, up until we come to angular routing through this course now uh, the npm will install all the packages that we need for our first angular project and you will see how it will look uh, soon enough now that everything is installed uh, don't worry about this warning nothing crucial we will route ourselves into the project to route ourselves from this file from this folder where we installed our angular uh, first project we could just use cd then first angular project and we are officially in our first angular project and here we could run the, uh, the command to uh, run our project on a local server to do that we will use ng serve which will serve our angular project on local server and we could just pass here dash dash open this dash dash open flag will automatically open our project live on our local server on our preferred browser if we do that we will just wait a bit for everything to be compiled successfully and then it will run once everything is finished we can see on, that on our local host 4200 angular uh, server is running and we can see our angular project for now there is no much uh, this is just the basic the default page of angular once you basically create your own angular project here you can see well different things learn angular cli documentation angular blog these will all lead us uh, well to the different uh, parts of the angular website also there is parts that you could install new well you could create new components add material etc etc uh, we won't go through this right now we will go through this a bit later also this first page is mostly fully deleted from our project because if you are creating the project itself you don't really need this page at all so let's go now into code and talk a bit about the well code of angular if you would open your first angular project like i did here in visual studio code here is the all the files from that uh, from our project this angular application will hold few files that you could see in right now first of all we have e2e folder this folder is used for e2e testing so end-to-end -end testing we don't really need uh, this right now then we have not the models file this file will hold all the models that we need or that we could have uh, in our angular application then we have source folder and i will talk a bit about this uh, a bit later and we have other uh, files the configuration files for our application for example we have package.json file this package.json file will hold the main information about project here we can see the name of our project its version and also the scripts that we could run so for example if you wish to run test here we could run ng test and it will run the testing of our application then here we can see all the dependencies that we have those are just simple angular mostly angular dependencies because angular needs these dependencies to run successfully the angular application and also a bit uh, dependencies like rxjs uh, typescript libraries etc which are also important for angular then we also have uh, development these dependencies for example karma and jasmine those are important for angular for angular testing and here if we add some of the dependencies with node models uh, we could for example install let's say paypal dependency for handling paypal subscriptions then uh, it will be fully imported here in our package.json uh, next thing we could hear we could see typescript configuration as angular is using typescript uh, it need uh, it needs its own configuration here we could also see karma configuration which is the uh, file that will configure our testing itself and we also have angular json which is the main uh, json file the configuration of angular project for example we see that here we have imported styles.css there is a fav icon from angular and you will see those soon and there are also many other things that we could see also we we see here different environments for example we have staging environment which will be replaced with production environment at the end so this is basic angular json well configuration now 
I will close all of these files and go into the source file itself. If I open up index.html, here we don't see much. We have simple head and the body. In our body we have this, well, so-called strange HTML element which is called app root. This app root, well, it is HTML element but is coming from Angular itself. So how this will work? Angular will uh, render different components, pages that we will have in this app root and it, uh, essentially we will just render this index.html file and this index.html will render different pages based on what we wish to show. So we are always showing just one file. That's why the, the applications that we create with Angular are called single page applications because we are always uh, rendering just one page but uh, in the background of it there is much more. If we go into main.typescript file here is where all the magic is happening. For example, we are reporting our app model here, which is our main model of our application. Whatever is in this model, it will be at the end uh, rendered, well, passed to our main TypeScript and main TypeScript will, with bootstrap model, uh, kinda render it on our index.html. So let's go to this app model. To go there, we will go into app folder here and here we have our app model. For example, here we have just a uh, few things. First of all, we have some imports and the one thing that we uh, need here is ng model. With this ng model, we are declaring this app model to work as an Angular model. So this is the main directive for that. This ng model could accept different things. For example, it accepts declarations. All the directives components that we have will go here into this app comp if to, into this declaration array. Also, all the models that we are importing will go into this imports array. If we have any services, those will go into providers and bootstrap will handle bootstrapping of this application. So, going into app component, we can see that for app component, we have app component.html, we have app component.css, let me close this, and we also have app component.typescript and finally app component.spec.typescript. First of all, what is this app component? Well, the thing that we saw, the page that we saw on our browser is here. So if we command all here and uh, delete everything, I will just save now. Now on our page we shouldn't see anything. So now you can see that I am on my local host 4200 and I have a blank page because we removed all the content from this page. Back to my Visual Studio code, so you can see that uh, this app component handled all that HTML content. This app component CSS will handle styling specific just to this component. And this TypeScript here, uh, this uh, component TypeScript is a main functionality kind of file for this component. For example, we have directive of component here, add component. This is declaring component here. We can see the selector of the component, which is app root, and this app root was in our index.html file. So at the end, this component is fully rendered to that HTML file. Then we see that template is coming from app component.html and style for that template is app component.css. So you can see that all these three files are connected well into one component basically. Talking about the app component spec file, this spec file is testing file for us. We don't really need this file at all, so we could just select it and delete it, because we won't talk about testing right now. The testing itself will be handled through those spec files, through different components, services, pipes, etc. So, if I would go to my app component right now, and I would type h1 here, and type hello world save this on my local host i can see that hello world right here so this is how angular will work you will soon see how can you create different components and manage those in the next video we will work with components so uh, 
let's just jump into next video. So thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, please click like and subscribe as I'm posting new content uh, weekly on this channel. Thank you once again and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.